Oh, well, hello there. And welcome back to another video in the survival world. I love videos in the survival world. Honestly, I'm having so much fun in this world. And I can't stop, so we're back. I love the... That intro is really funny. Um, but yeah, now we're actually going to get down to business. Today, I have a little... Uh, not a checklist. I have a uh, about three or four things that we need to do. Um, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys my list. N l number one. We got to build a gold farm. I don't know if we'll do that at the beginning or the end. Um, I don't really like to build farms near the end of the episode. So, yeah. You know, we'll build it at the end. The second thing we're doing today is we're going ancient debris mining. That's always fun. What? What? Bleh. So, uh, okay. Yeah, so we're going ancient debris mining. And the third thing is we're going to be beginning the greatest project on the survival world. The netherite beacon. I mentioned this in the last episode. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I say otherwise. Um, don't worry. This is not something I'm going to sit down for and then just get done. Um, this is going to take multiple episodes. I probably won't even get this done till near the end of the series, but I wanted to start as early as possible. So, so yeah, um, we're going to be beginning that. So we'll start by collecting all of the ancient debris. Okay, so we need 36 ancient debris. And yeah, I'm gonna just get that now, I guess. I mean, I mean, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but how I like to get ancient debris is I like to get sand. Um, do we have, do we have sand? We might have sand. Actually, we might, we might, we might have enough sand. Do, is it, it yep, I, th I think, I think this is enough sand. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's enough sand. Um, we'll do one stack of TNT. I think that should be good. Is it five stacks of sand? Uh, we'll go four stacks of sand. And I'm gonna go grab some gunpowder. Anyways, we're going to be, not, a, we won't do a time lapse. I'll just do a cut where I get all the aged debris. This might take a while. I hope it doesn't take a while, but probably will. Anyways, I'll be back. Four stacks of TNT later, and we only have 21 ancient debris. <laughs> I'm starting to regret my, I'm starting to regret my decision for another right beacon. But, I mean, that took about an hour. And you know what? As long as you have... As long as you have... Sorry for the lag. Jeez, hold up. Hold up, I just unplugged my computer. When I unplugged my computer, yeah, I just plugged it back in. Look at the FPS increase. Anyways, yeah, so I think when you do have a steady supply of TNT, um, you can get a decent amount of ancient debris, but um, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, yeah. One stack of gunpowder. That's not good. That is not good at all. One stack of gunpowder won't get us anywhere. So, there are a few things we need to do now. We still need to build a gold farm. I haven't forgotten about that. So, we do need to do that. But now, we also... Not only do we have to build a gold farm, we also have to AFK... At my gunpowder farm. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna AFK at my gunpowder farm. I actually want to turn this, even though we don't have enough. I still want to turn it, turn some of my armor into netherite armor. Uh, I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm doing my armor. I mean... Yeah, I, th I think I want to do my armor. Unless I want to do my... My tools? I mean... I got 20. So, I have 5 netherite ingots. Uh, we'll do my, we'll do, um, we'll do my, we'll do this, 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 and then we can do my sword and, uh, we'll do my pickaxe and my shovel. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Well, this is always satisfying. Uh, oh God, wasn't prepared for this. And then we're doing you and you. Oh. Oh, we look amazing. Dude. 
I've never worn netherite armor in Minecraft yet. And now that we have all of the netherite that we need, I did go AFKing at the gunpowder farm. Um, yeah, I went AFKing and I went mining and I died, but I got my stuff back again. It's fine. All good. We can now officially get the rest of this, um, get the rest of this done. And there are two more things I want. You and you, Solid Tummy and Mr. Fortune. And yeah, now we're gonna keep these in- Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, we got a challenge complete. Yeah, this challenge is hard, actually, to get. You need a lot of ancient debris. Anyways, we're gonna shove that in there. And then we can just keep this in there. And yeah. That's actually- We're actually insane now. There's just one thing I want to do. Hello there. In case you guys don't know, netherite tools don't burn. So when I die, I don't have to worry about all my stuff burning. As you can see, everything is completely fine. It's all perfectly accounted for. It's just when I do that, I just gotta make sure I don't throw my I am Batman in um, the lava. Because that, that definitely will burn. That, that will burn. But everything else, no. So that's awesome. Now the only way I could, I, I could lose all my stuff is if it despawns. Oh god. If I lose the location... Or, if TNT blows it up. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Lag, lag, lag. Whoa. Okay. Anyways, what are we gonna do now? Well, in case you don't know, we do actually have some ancient debris um, left, so that's nice. Uh, we can spend that on the netherite beacon. Yay! Um, but, there's a few things I want to do. And there are a few issues, issues we have to um, discuss. I do not have any more rockets. I gotta, I gotta get more rockets. Oh crap! Come on! Do I not have any sugar cane or any gun? Oh, that's annoying. I don't have anything. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm back. So it's all, it's all right. No need to panic. Um, we got our firework rockets. Um, yeah. There's a few things we need to do. One. Our gunpowder farm isn't nearly good enough, so I don't know when, but I want to upgrade that sooner or later and get about, I don't know, maybe about like a four or five more layers to it. So instead of getting 18 stacks in like three hours, I can get like 64 stacks in like three hours, which would be crazy. So yeah, I want to do that, but we're not doing that today. Today, we're making a gunpowder farm for so long. Sorry, not gunpowder farm. A gold farm. For so many reasons. Like, for, like, 500 million reasons. Also, I'm so glad I moved my bed. Because that, it was so annoying over there. Um, because you spawn outside of the base. Now, we're making a gold farm for about six reasons. We need gold. Because gold's a really nice block to have. And, we also need XP. And... Re and let's be honest, the really, really, in 1.16, the only way to get XP is a gold farm. So yeah, we're gonna build a gold farm. And oh, there's one more reason. Um, we can get infinite emeralds because clerics trade gold for emeralds, which is by far the best trade in all of Minecraft. And yeah, um, so yeah, we're gonna do this. I have to, I'm gonna look up a thing, um, and get all the materials. So I'll get all the materials, and I will be right back. So, yeah, I was trying to find a gold farm, and I, this is interesting, because at first I tried to design my own, but it wasn't efficient enough. So, then, I thought, let's build any gold farm except Nenbon's gold farm. Reason, again, too many magma blocks. That took way too long. But, something, I, fa I found something. First of all, let me bring this lava back. I found something. They're all gonna cost a lot of magma blocks. So, the question is... Do I build Nembon's gold farm? It's a great gold farm, don't get me wrong. But am I willing to pour hours upon hours of dedication into it? No, I'm not. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build Ray's Works gold farm. I think it's Ray's Works gold farm. I'm not sure. I think it might be, might not be. But we're gonna build that one instead. So, yeah, let's get all the materials required. How many you need... You need three thousand, uh, not even three thousand magma blocks. So, 
that's that's good you know what that's that's fine for me and you get 12,000 drops an hour and over 150 xp levels in just an hour again that's good enough for me so yeah i guess we're building this thing um but we actually have to we actually have to break break bedrock <sighs> we have to break bedrock it's fine it's not that bad so anyways uh i guess i guess i guess hit oh hit hit the time lapse yeah, yeah. Hit the time lapse! Guys, spider jockey, spider jockey, spider. Sorry, that got cut off a little at the end because I was. There was like 500 mobs around me. I needed string to get bamboo. Or, sorry, scaffolding. Uh, I needed scaffolding for the gold farm. So, yeah, I have that now, which is great. But, like, I, I, I did need that. So, that's why, if, in case you're wondering. Hello! I am on top of the nether. So, <laughs> sorry for the accent. But yeah, I got on top of the nether. I don't really know which block we used, but I'm about to light the portal. And I actually do have all the things that we need for the gold farm, which we're probably going to build somewhere. I don't really know. But anyways, um, yeah, I actually do want to keep a flint and steel inside of my ender chest. Uh, because I think there's a third flint and steel I've crafted this season. So, not very efficient. Anyways, let's go through and let's see what our portal spawn is. Hopefully, it's good. I would hope so. Uh, it's the exact same portal. So, that's not good. That is, we do not want that. Um, I'm also gonna have to light up our base. We're getting mob spawning. I don't want a creeper coming in here. When I come through, it's not gonna be good, is it? Highly doubt it. Oh! Let's go! It's actually linked! That's a surprise. Just gonna test one more time. Yeah, it's definitely linked. Let's go. That's a that's a win for me. Anyways, we're finally after a long time of spider jockeys and linking portals, we're finally actually gonna build the gold farm. So hit the time lapse. Oh my freaking god, is this farm efficient? Holy crap! This farm is crazy. Bro, I've been standing here for like 30 seconds and I already have 43 levels. Hello? It just- <laughs> What the heck is happening? Oh my god. This farm is so good. Why? Bro, this is- This is like 50 times better than the Nembon's gold farm. Guys, I highly suggest you check this farm out. I think I built it wrong, but I don't really care. Uh, I think I did do the center a little bit wrong. You got the iron golem, and then you got all these guys who are actually mad at the iron golem. So, I guess that kind of speeds up the rate of the farm, doesn't it? Yeah, they're charging to the iron golem. But this farm is literally ridiculous. And the fact that you can it is physically possible to make it bigger, I can't because I've already built it. But it is actually possible to make this farm bigger if you do actually add another layer. But that that's just crazy. That's... Insane. I don't think anyone would ever need this much XP. Hold on, I'm gonna fly in. Oh my god. Bro, look at the XP in front of me. Look at my hotbar. It's- Oh my god. <laughs> this farm is so good. <laughs> um, it also repaired all of my things pretty much instantly, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um. Jeez. Uh, there's only one thing. Uh, and that is storage. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 the sad part is that it's already full, right? And then, oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Dude, we're already at level 50. That's not a record, though. I want to try to get to level 100 from AFK at this thing. Probably won't take very long at the rate it's going. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to make a storage system for this thing because this is just, we only really want the gold. We don't really want anything else. Um, I might turn these hoppers into item filters in some way. But, yeah, that's not important right now. Um, I think we're gonna do that in the next episode because, uh, yeah. Bro, this took like two hours to make and that's normally a lot longer than the, uh, the average farm. Anyways, look at all the XP orbs just floating in. Bro, this is insane. They, they just don't stop coming, do they? They, they? they just keep on coming and coming. Holy! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I made this little platform so I can land, because if you know me, I'm not very good with the elytra. Also, sorry if it's so loud. 
I just realized it's probably so loud. I'm literally screaming into the microphone right now. But yeah, you can see they're all coming down and it, bro, we're already at 60 levels and I'm just, I've been talking to you guys for, for literally three minutes. But yeah, okay, hold up. Can we go somewhere more peaceful, please? Please, I, I, I beg, I beg someone. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe like here. Perfect. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think, oh wow, why is there a bunch of XP here? I will definitely take this XP. I'm XP, XP hungry. I'm hungry for some XP. Okay. In the next episode, guys, we have a lot that we are gonna need to do. Um, yeah, we, we have so many things we need to do. Add a storage system to that thing. I'm pretty sure I, I, we're also building a concrete converter, if I remember correctly, for the next episode. I put in, I have a list of things I want to make. Uh, but yeah, I want to get fully geared up, because we, we're not fully geared up. Um, and I want to get a, st a proper storage system for this thing, because I want to be keeping all of that gold, and we're going to have to get a full-on thing. And yeah, I'll probably custom make that. Anyways, though... I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to NS Gaming for more videos like this one. And yeah, if you really enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Tell me tell me if you want more. Because I think you guys love this series, by the way. I really do think you love this series. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!